hey, here's the entrance to the heritage area. Here's the visitor center. Let's stop and see what Narco felt about it. Let's told a chuckle in his effort. Plus, they have information in advertisements from that tariff meant to those with life and those with the on wall. But we'll also have displays. If you can then the van, you see our wide angle displays of things. Those will have class cases with artifacts. But the time, you know, they will have photographs of this in a separate era's industry where we're putting not paint on that strike. And that takes uh, several coats. And we want it to match as closely as possible. But it also has to cut, cut you know, a, a world of sins along the way. When the Amtrak got it, they stripped all that down and painted the red, white, and blue logo in that strike hobbly down and green up the car. And that led to me and me for all our movie in Hollywood, why they did all kinds of things, put Bobby Cuddy in places so that it would look good from the shop. Well, we have to kind of undo all of that and to get the light colors to get it done. This side looks pretty good. The other side, as you can see, was still dealing with some of that uddy things, but we okay, that. We're going to make it fun. We're going to have information for current residents, for visitors, and for people that are interested, should I move to Maricopa? When they come to the visitor center and look at the affirmation in more and see the part and the way the community comes together, I think it's going to be very attractive for newcomers, and it's going to make the people that are already here think, I came to the right place. This is me and Emily. And that's our goal. We have like a each of Lionel models that uh, as historical society donated to us that will be on display. What were the uh, salt and pepper shapers that they gave everybody on the first trip? We have a pair of oats. So it's going to be artifacts, pictures, memorabilia, not just CBMQ, but the California Zephyr. Pacific and the Southern Horizon and the Southern Pacific. Don't forget that giant. The Southern Pacific and Union Pacific, their history here and the pieces that we have from them, including tools that we use to build the railroad, those will all be in here too. So this one, the train, transportation, and how does a clay take result? We got some original frames that we were gonna use in the dome, but they're too small. If you look at the advertisements from that era, with only the skin, or with a, a lady and a little kid, and when we had people up and tested out some of those sprains, it just wasn't comfortable. And so I looked and looked until I could find some Art Deco modern chains, chairs that are built in the specifications that are coming. Oh, so we have 16 bench seats that are up there that look Deco like they were in that era. So how long have you guys been actively in here working on about frustration, combat, several years? You know, it just takes that because, well, when we first started on the train and we wanted to do the air conditioning and the windows open it, try to get glass or acrylic and to them a cold. We would have people that had told us, we'll have it was made for you in two months. Call back and said, oh, you got to be kidding our acrylic and glass is gold, but coke, uh, we just can't tell me when you'll get it. So it did, and it took years, which got me patient, and I'll persist them. And knock on Margaret, we finally got it bent. Back. <laughs>